Hello students. This video is going to discuss the uh, transition to Revel. I know that uh, some of you have taken courses with me in the past where we have used um, my CJ lab. Well, we are transitioning to Revel as it has shown to improve student learning uh, and increase retention and then also get you to be more involved in uh, learning the class material. So if you look at the screen, uh, we're going to click on uh, courses and I'm going to be selecting the uh, criminal investigation course. This is a late start class that began um, in fall 2017. Uh, this is the entry page that you would normally see. Um, kind of like a side note, look right here on the, on the middle of the screen under announcements. That's usually where I put important announcements for the class. Um, but for this video, we're going to be moving over to Pearson Revel. It's right here on the left hand side of your screen. We're going to click on Pearson Revel. And then once it loads, you'll see a yellow button like right here that says open Revel. And you click on that button. And now you're going to be entering into um, the Revel course, the online Revel course. The first thing that you see right now is that there's an assignment due on October 15th. Uh, again, this is a video that was created in fall 2017. And so um, the dates, if you're watching this, obviously in the spring, it'll be different dates. But uh, we are in October 2017. And so the, the first week, week one, we're going to scroll down to see what's going on. So this is a late start class. And there are two chapters that will need to be covered um, for this week, for week one. And so if you notice, for example, in week one, uh, that's called Foundations of Criminal Investigation, you're going to have to be doing some assignments throughout the chapter, which means you're going to have to be reading the textbook. So you'll be reading a portion of the textbook, and then you'll be answering a question. For example, right here, the book's theme under chapter one, Foundations of Criminal Investigation, is worth six points. And so you're going to click on book's theme. It's going to take you to a specific part of chapter one, have you read a portion of it, and then answer the question. And if you answer correctly, one or two questions will be worth six points. And then the next one down, the evolution in research and science in forensic science worth six points. So you'll have to do that as well. And then you pretty much have to do every single one of those. And you look to the right, and you see where it's worth three points, nine points, six points, uh, and so forth. And then once you complete the whole thing, then at the very bottom, you're going to click on chapter one quiz, and that's worth 40 points. Now, once you're done with chapter one, uh, I told you this is a late start class for fall 17. So it's going to have two chapters. We're going to cover two chapters per week until December. And so uh, here we are on chapter two, and we're pretty much going to repeat the process. So under chapter two, titled the crime scene, field notes, documenting, and reporting. You're going to have the, uh, you know, the first assignment right here, the role of field notes uh, in a criminal investigation worth six points. You're going to complete all those other ones underneath those. And then at the very end, you're going to take the chapter two quiz for 40 points. Now, remember that when you, um, when you get done with this, you still have to go into Canvas. So let's go back into Canvas. And you're going to click on modules and from modules you're going to be clicking on week one uh, foundation of criminal investigation and you're going to see what you need to complete in this case um, for week one uh, you need to click on the link that shows the information to your instructor that's me um, brian silva and then um, you'll be asked to complete some of the other assignments which is introduce yourself update my profile and the CTE online survey. And by clicking on any of these blue links, uh, you'll know um, it'll explain what you have to do. Now keep in mind that even after you complete the survey, or even after you update your profile, you still have to submit the assignment for grading. So if you click on grades over here on the left hand side of your screen, it takes you to the grade book, and you get there and you see that I haven't assigned a grade, chances are you haven't submitted the assignment for grading. So you have to submit the assignment for grading so that I will then um, assign you a grade. Uh, scroll down, there's a, a video here 
Um, this doesn't really apply to this. We're going to be soon updating that to a Revel video. There's the PowerPoint slides, although in Canvas you have access to the PowerPoint slides. And then there's a uh, welcome to the course message. And obviously you need to read uh, you know, my message to you. Take some time to read through this. Uh, there's a picture here of a lady uh, holding a sign. Uh, it says, I did it. She's in the uh, graduation gown. And then her little girl or daughter um, says, I helped. Um, I want you to know that being successful in college involves a support system. And so you need to surround yourself with a support system that's going to help you succeed. So um, I talk on this letter about adjusting your life so that you're going to be able to be successful in the class. So um, let's scroll to the bottom. That's pretty much it there. Ignore the uh, student online certificate portion. Uh, we do need to update that. Uh, we no longer do that ever since um, we have fully switched to Canvas. And so I guess this completes the, uh, the introductory assignment to Revel. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, I encourage you to always email me. Uh, you can also text me to 858-314-8608. Uh, uh, or email me, um, and that's the fastest way to get a hold of me. Texting comes right to my cell phone. Uh, email, you know, I can check when I check on my cell phone or my computer. But uh, I don't want you to get overwhelmed and then just abandon the uh, class because you can't figure things out. Um, you can do this, and uh, it's going to be possible. So um, let's let's get off to a good start. Um, you know, uh, contact me with any questions or concerns. Uh, if you feel like you're overwhelmed, reach out, talk to me, talk to another instructor, talk to uh, another classmate, because uh, we all want to see you finish the semester. I will tell you one last thing about Revel is that uh, other students who have completed the uh, Revel, um, like a Revel course at the college uh, have said some great things about it. There's some interactive um, features that are uh, built into Revel that um, you know, my CG lab did not have. Uh, for example, there's some writing exercises. Uh, those of you who are thinking about getting into law enforcement, uh, you're going to have to do some writing. And obviously, there's some writing exercises that are part uh, of the um, the whole process of getting into law enforcement. There's one here called Shared Writing, the Contemporary Patrol Officer. And um, you can go on there and then complete it and then type a paragraph and then check your writing skills out see if you're ready to uh, to complete such an assignment um, also don't forget that the powerpoints are are built inside you know the uh, your, your uh, revel course shell and so if you read the whole textbook chapter and you still need some help I encourage you to go on the powerpoints and it's under resources I believe uh, and right here on, a, on the left hand side of your screen and then you'll be able to see that. Your uh, gradebook should be under performance, but keep in mind that the gradebook for Revel is actually um, only within Revel. And so uh, we only really want to pay attention to the gradebook in Canvas as all the grades from Revel are automatically uploaded or synced to um, uh, Canvas every two to three hours. So if you complete a quiz, uh, just know that it's not instant. It's going to take a few hours for the uh, grade to be imported. Uh, one last thing. I keep saying one last thing, but I want to say one more. Uh, don't wait until the last day to complete your assignments. Uh, this course has been open since Monday. Um, I encourage you to take the first quiz attempt by Wednesday, second quiz attempt by Friday. Uh, I do not recommend that you wait until the weekend uh, to complete any work in this online class because there are no support system in place to help you. Uh, the online help desk may be open on Saturday mornings from 9 to 12. Maybe not. Uh, they may be busy with other students. There may be a long waiting period for you. So just keep that in mind. I know that some of you do have jobs and uh, cl the class becomes number two and you do wait for the weekend to complete your assignments. But just know that uh, give yourself plenty of time either on Saturday or Sunday to finish working on the class at least for the first two chapters. Once these two chapters end uh, for the compressed version of this class or if we're taking on a regular semester uh, for other semester it'd be like once a chapter ends on Sunday 
there is no assignment makeups and then uh, the following Monday we begin a new chapter new set of assignments so it's important for you to stay focused I'm gonna go ahead and end this uh, it's been 10 minutes uh, long enough for you to hear my voice um, good luck with the class and uh, best wishes and reach out if you need help thank you for watching